the parable of the fisherman and the investment banker. An American investment banker was at the pier of a small coastal Mexican village when a small boat with just one fisherman docked. Inside the small boat were several large fin tuna. The banker complimented the Mexican fisherman on the quality of his fish and asked how long it took to catch them. The fisherman replied, only a little while. The banker then asked why he didn't stay out longer and catch more fish. The fisherman said he had enough to support his family's immediate needs. The banker then asked, but what do you do with the rest of your time? The Mexican fisherman said, I sleep late, fish a little, play with my children, take siesta with my wife, Maria. I then stroll into the village each evening where I sip wine and play guitar with my amigos. I have a full and busy life. The investment banker scoffed. I'm a Harvard MBA and could help you. You should spend more time fishing and with the proceeds buy a bigger boat. And with the proceeds from the bigger boat, you could buy several boats. Eventually, you would have a fleet of fishing boats. Instead of selling your catch to a middleman, you would sell directly to the processor, eventually opening up your own cannery. You would control the product, processing and distribution. You would need to leave this small coastal fishing village though and move to Mexico City, then LA and eventually New York City where you would be able to run your expanding enterprise. The humble fisherman asked, but how long will this take? To which the investment banker replied, 15 to 20 years. But then what, said the fisherman. The banker laughed and said, that's the best part. When the time is right, you would announce an IPO and sell your company stock to the public and become very rich. You would make millions. Millions, asked the fisherman. Then what? The banker finally said, then you would retire, move to a small coastal fishing village where you would sleep late, fish a little, play with your kids, take siesta with your wife and then be able to stroll into the village in the evening, sip wine and play guitar with your amigos. When I first heard this story, it was a real eye-opener for me. Sometimes we can get so caught up in the rat race and blinded by the pursuit of success, money and fame, even though what we actually want is there all along. The fisherman's life is humble, that's for sure, but he has all the makings of a happy and fulfilled life. Freedom to do what he wants, low stress, time for relaxation, leisure and hobbies, time to spend with family and friends, and work that he likes to do and that brings in enough to provide for his family. If you can learn to understand how much is enough and be grateful with what you have in life rather than always chasing more, you will not only probably be way more happier, but you will also be able to get to financial independence a lot sooner.